అలానే అక్కడ చేస్తారు వాళ్ళు
के पद्मनाभ भैया चेयरमैन एसकी डॉक्टर अच्युत सामंत ऑनरेबल मेंबर ऑफ पार्लियामेंट लोकसभा एडुकेशनिस्ट फिलेंथ्रोपिस्ट सोशल वर्कर फाउंडर एंड मेंटर ऑफ के आई आई टी के आई एस एस किस फाउंडेशन इंडिया यूके एंड यूएसए टूडेज डिस्टिंग स्पीकर डिस्टिंग गेस्ट फैकल्टी मेंबर्स स्टूडेंट्स लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम welcome to aski to this public lecture transforming lives through education the kiit and kiss story and the unveiling of the impact assessment report which aski has done for kiss my name is dr nirmalya bakchi but before i progress further a small request to all of you please put your mobile on silent mode so that we don't have any distractions i can see a little bit uh, you know space in the front so those of you who would like to come to the front uh, the rains have played spoil sport but uh, i request all of you to please come to the front so that we can start the event but before i uh, request our chairman and uh, the honorable mp to inaugurate and unveil the report it's my pleasant duty and honor to introduce professor achyuta samanta professor samanta obtained his masters degree in chemistry and doctorate degree in social sciences and started teaching at the age of 22 as i said he is the founder of Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology and Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences and Kalinga Institute of Medical Sciences and founder of KISS University currently he is member of parliament Lok Sabha followed by a short stint as member of parliament Rajya Sabha in 2018-19 he has served as a member of the apex educational bodies in India that is university grants commission AICT national council of teachers education so nominated by the governor of manipur he was the former principal advisor department of education governor manipur he has served as general president of the indian science congress association and the world congress of poets and presently professor samanta is the president of the volleyball federation of india interestingly professor samanta holds the record in india of having been conferred 55 honoris causa doctorate awards from prestigious universities in india and across the globe he has been honored with 50 national and international and over 200 state honors and accolades highest civilian awards from bahrain and mongolia gusi peace prize five national and international fellowships including royal society of chemistry uk and chronicled in the limca book of records and guinness book of world records on four counts under his leadership kiss has received unesco international literary prize 2022 kiit and kiss has received rashtriya khel protsahan puraskar 2022 by government of india fiki sports award sports star award besides becoming nodal center for fifa football association for schools in asia and the hub for promotion of volleyball in asia in collaboration with the federation international de volleyball i could go on and on about mr of professor samantha's achievements but i will stop here and i'll just tell you two data points which will make it very clear to you his contribution he started these organizations in the year 1992 and today 40000 plus people the most downtrodden tribal people get free education 
free health, free nutritious meals in these institutions. That's a wonderful achievement. I have myself been there. Yeah. In fact, if you just go to the kitchen, it's like at least three football fields. It has, of course, been highlighted in several international programs by CNN and BBC and others. But it is something to be seen, to be believed. That good people are still there in the world. And if you have goodness in your heart, you can achieve many, many things. Interestingly, KISS is not just a charitable kind of a uh, model. It's a sustainable model. The income which is generated from KIIT institutions funds this KISS, which basically means that uh, it's a sustainable model and it can go on till KIIT is relevant. So I congratulate and I'm very happy that sir, has, uh, sir is here today to deliver uh, this public lecture. Now I'll request our chairman and Professor Samantha. Uh, I'll request chairman sir to uh, give the ASCII report to Professor Samantha. Now I request our chairman, Shri K. Padmana Bhaiya, former Home Secretary, Government of India, to deliver his opening remarks, sir. Good evening, friends. Uh, I recognize the Deputy High Commissioner of Britain and uh, my old friend, Venkat Narayan, from Delhi, a famous journalist, uh, he was for a long time associated with the foreign journalists of uh, the country. And uh, I believe there are office bearers from the American embassy, American consulate. Uh, I don't uh, recognize them, but anyway, you're welcome. Plus uh, everyone else. You know, we hold these public meetings at uh, ASCII once in two months. And uh, during the last eight years, I must have seen, you multiply, you know, the number uh, in two months. So many lectures and uh, very eminent uh, persons. We don't call, you know, uh, you have to go through a big, this one, you know, to be qualified to speak in this, uh, from this platform. But I must say today we have an extraordinary gentleman. Uh, in fact, if I tell things about him, it is, uh, believe me or not, you know, replace believe it or not, you know, something like that. It, it looks like a uh, fairy tale, you know. Four years ago, I met this gentleman. He visited uh, ASCII in another context. There is a body called Center for Innovation in Public Systems. So he gave a lecture there. And uh, the then director gave a broad sheet about uh, his uh, achievements. I couldn't believe. I thought it is all some story, you know. You know, there are people who take you for a ride saying, I have done this, I have done that and all that. But when I heard it, I mean, I was stunned. Now, the point is, in 1992, he started a small school in a two-room shed with 5,000 rupees or so, fusions, you know, for the, this one. And today, he is only 60 years old. And, uh, but today, he has got so many institutions. The Kalinga Institute of Social Sciences, the Kalinga Institute of Industrial Technology, the Kalinga Institute of uh, Medical Sciences, which gives um, graduate degrees and postgraduate degrees and all that. And he has a deemed university and all that. Now I asked him, I mean, uh, we were sitting for some time and I said, what motivated you first to get into this at all? And then he was telling me uh, some personal details. I think uh, there is no harm in mentioning. He said he is... Uh, his father was a very small employee somewhere. And uh, there were uh, seven children. And he was the last. 
and they didn't have any means they didn't have land they didn't have anything but he said how to get out of this poverty and you know one day food is there the second day there is no food then he said there is only one way education education is the only means through which i can beat this poverty that's what he thought and he was describing the conditions in odisha i don't know how many of you have visited odisha odisha has got about 30 districts 20 of them are tribal districts and some of them are um, you know i don't know what is the word given but uh, extremely tribal you know, more than 90% of the indians only 10 districts are the coastal districts so these 20 districts the amount of poverty there is unimaginable poverty and so his concentration was on those people brought them and uh, this uh, first he started with the uh, kalinga institute of industrial technology and then that was a fee paying uh, organization but cross subsidy subsidy he subsidized the other one the body that is the kalinga institute of social sciences and so today uh, 40000 students are so study in his colleges and something unbelievable you know that one has done so i am extremely happy that uh, he is here today he is a diminutive man but uh, full of you know vitality and uh, this one so without taking much of your time i would request him to deliver his speech and uh, we are very happy to be associated with his organization because he asked us to make a study uh, of uh, his organization and find out how to improve further i mean uh, how to reach you know, other people so a team of people went under his leadership our uh, director generals they studied the college we have made some recommendations which are contained in that he is quite happy with those recommendations but if there are four people like this in the country the four parts east west north south i think a uh, lot of things would happen yeah. so only four people one is there three more you require and uh, and i asked him what about charities i mean some people philanthropy has become a fashion of the day now but in those days who would philanthropy i said how did you manage so he says cross subsidy that is the uh, this one you know and then government gave him uh, some money uh, you know for feeding and he feeds children free food you know from uh, class 1 to whatever you are studying so it is a remarkable exercise but then when i said the three more people it is very difficult to find one more like <laughs> like him. so what he should do is i think he should step out of uh, odisha now and there are tribal areas in so many other places for example jharkhand in even in telangana even in andhra pradesh and all that i think you should look at some of these places and see whether you can replicate this get some people there motivate them and i think that would be a great service you know to the country so i would now request uh, shri samanta to deliver his speech thank you so good evening everybody present here on this very auspicious evening we have with us your honorable chairman of the court of governors of aski and also the former home secretary great bureaucrat of the country respected sri k padmana bhaji and also on the <coughs> dash our respected dg shay dr nirmala bhaji ji of the aski and um, my great well sir respected venkat narayan ji coming from delhi and also i am very much happy respected few staffs from the us consul general office hyderabad and also respected deputy high british deputy high commissioner present here and all the other respected distinguished personalities present here from hyderabad and from other parts of the the state 
and particularly the entire staff members, students of this great institute of government of India, ASCII present here. At the outset, <clears throat> it's my great pleasure and duty to express thanks and gratitude to Honorable Chairman of ASCII, who is a good man and good bureaucrat <laughs> now heading this ASCII. And also DG Sahib, Bhakti Ji, and few staffs for conducting this impact assessment study. Not for one organization. People say it is the beauty of the world, and policymakers say it is the eighth wonder of the world. That is Kalinga Institute of Social Science, KISS. So you have made all the impact study assessment with respect to HDG, et cetera. As a founder of Kit and Kish, I express my gratitude to ASCII and to both of you and the other staff members for taking out some time and putting their effort to assess the things. And it is very nicely done. Um, so thank you very much. And second thing also, <clears throat> thanks handing over this ASCII report just now before the our honored audience present here. And at the same time, allowing me to express my feelings or works to this August gathering present here. I am very much happy, honored standing in the midst of all of you. Earlier also, I had delivered one lecture in this campus before few years. And today, because of this, taking this ASCII report, I, I am very much honored to speak something. Because I know now this is the fag end of the day. You, throughout the day, you must have worked very hard in the office. You all are in the mood to leave this place as quickly as possible. And it is more because of rain going on outside. So I am a very practical person. So I should not <clears throat> take much time. Rather, I will say, that I'll take maximum 15 minutes to speak something and show some video to you. And after that, if you have any questions to me, then it's so, okay, fine. And as already respected Bhakti Ji has told a little bit about my introduction, etc., and followed by your honorable chairman, and some of you must be knowing. Damodar Din Seleke, many people have known my work. Your chairman was telling one word, fairy tale. It is true. When God creates something, it is always amazing and miracle. My entire activities has been created by or blessed by Almighty God. That's why not only the honorable chairman is speaking, it is the comments of each and every policymaker and more than 22 Nobel laureates have visited this place from across the globe and in India. So this is the comment. And I used to tell them, I'm a very small man of five feet, five inch. It is not possible on my part to create the beauty of the entire world in Bhubaneswar and coming from such a background. You have kichar, kichar. Nalame, I was just like that in my childhood. Kichar se la ke Bhagwan ne mujhe king bana diya. And if you see, then only you can believe. But now you'll believe definitely my words. If you see three video, one minute, five minutes, and another two minutes. So eight to nine minutes video, and already I have taken five minutes. <laughs> So after seeing that video, <laughs> there is no chance of speaking anything to you. It is better to show the video and you will easily the, understand me and my work. I have been working for the last 31 years relentlessly without any break for the people in the society. And I'm a very good social worker and definitely educationist and also many other things. But above all, I am a good man with a good soul. That's my characteristics. That's why people love me and become mad to see my activity. I'm really a good man with a good soul. 
God has blessed me in that direction. Though I am the founder of such a huge organization, I am totally detached from the low mo maya mamta asakti. जो गीता में लिखा है लो मो माया ममता आशक्ति से दूर रहता हूँ एक छोटा किराए मकान में आई लिव वेरी सिंपल लाइफ इन रेंटेड हाउस सो आई फील सो हैप्पी द बॉय हु आज किचड एंड नॉट गेटिंग इवन वन पीस ऑफ रोटी इन इज चाइल्ड हुड नाउ द सेम पर्सन इज द इंस्ट्रूमेंट टू गिव ब्रेड एंड बटर डायरेक्टली इनडायरेक्ट टू इनडायरेक्टली वन क्रोर पीपल एवरी डे दर यूज टू टेक ब्रेड एंड so that's the good things god has blessed me so anyhow as we and the topic is very nice the transforming lives through education we all know these things are very simple things and it has really happened in my life and also lives of millions poor children because first whatever i speak i whatever i preach i practice first it happened to my life transforming life through education and you see how today i am standing before all of you is it possible without education only possible i am educated otherwise i would have been very wealthy or very gay it would not have been possible suppose you see for good work and education how it is good suppose two people are sitting here achut samant and another one person another person is having many palace building in, in and around the country and many 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 things noble nobody will read out that things he has so many buildings lands etc 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 but the way bagchi read out my bio data in a brief everybody will read out na nahi then which is great great is your achievements and education not the palace and the building and the land and so many industry in your name i used to tell my all because i used to be invited as a motivational speaker throughout the globe mai sabko bolta hu suppose we both are sitting here somebody has enough well recently i i was in guatemala a guatemala ambassador treated me with inviting we you of that country for dinner and his best friend was also sitting besides me he is a great industrialist gotemala ambassador spoke half an hour about me to the audience he did not utter a single word about his close friend who is a great industrialist because it cannot be told about the wealth or the etc but achievements can be told they can be described so i request all of you to have some achievements along with your wealth that i have done it in my life so anyhow first the i transfer myself through education then also millions of children in this context i may now conclude i and i'll show though i have thought of to show you video break but i will show you video continuously and now conclusion and before the video show you see must be must be knowing but it is my duty to read out the comments of great persons of india on education and that three comments i have been practicing in my life the great mahatma gandhi the father of the nation believed in the power of education in empowering the down trodden he has told quote freedom is like a dry log of wood if poverty is not alleviated in the country and poverty can be wiped out through education he said you see i have been doing it Swami Vivekananda, the world-renowned social reformer, thought leader, etc., he he said, education is man-making. He realized that it is the only through education that the uplift of masses is possible. What I have been doing for the tribal children for the last thirty-one years. He stated it emphatically that if society is to be reformed, education has to reach everyone, low or high, because. individuals are the very constituents of the society the sense of dignity rises in man when he becomes conscious of his inner spirit and that is the very purpose of education similarly our great dr b r ambedkar economics and the social reformer and the architect of the <laughs> biggest largest constitution in the world he said education is the solution of our social troubles so if 
if we see since century everybody is emphatically education 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 and now in the present age beat government or prime minister or any state chief minister everybody is only telling only one word education 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 i am very much happy and fortunate i have been practicing this education 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 to the children those who have never seen the outer world so i have been doing for them so happily so let us see these three videos one minute that is the prayer class of our 40000 children at east bhubneswar every day another one definitely in the name and style out of giving you will understand and the third one i was very much fortunate to be with great celebrity amita bachan ji twice in two different occasion as a social celebrity kon banega karodpati so from that also i will show you two minutes video what amita bachan ji is asking and i am replying so let us see one minute and my talk is over now it is up to you to put any questions it is the prayer class of One day in 1969 very early in the morning at about 5 a.m. a small boy about 4 years old could not understand why all of a sudden members in the family burst into a loud wail and looked crestfallen not knowing what to do and what not to do the child looked inquiringly at the grief stricken faces soon he came to realize that his father had died though the word death was beyond his understanding his father had died in a tragic train accident leaving seven siblings and the widowed wife behind the youngest sibling was about a month old and the eldest 17 years the deceased father was a petty worker in an industry and had left no savings for the eight member family to survive on All the siblings including the small boy had to grow up in the midst of severe poverty in a very remote village of Orissa in India. The boy did odd menial jobs here and there voluntarily and helped his widowed mother. The early childhood and fate forced the boy to fend for himself and was thus self-made right from the age of about 5 years. He gave his mother the solace by wiping her tears 
and he gave his little sister the comfort of his lap to sleep on. By about seven years of age, the boy was already sharing his hard-earned money from his work with the classmates. He kept one rupee out of his wage earned for the day just to give tea and snacks to his four friends at a tea shop near the school where they studied. He also helped the village folks and friends by giving his time and energy to fetch groceries and provisions from the nearby market every now and then. The boy grew up to be a youth in due course. One day, while he was doing his master's program in Utkal University, Bhuvaneshwar, he gave away the 300 rupees given to him by his eldest brother for joining the college picnic to one of his friends who had no money and helped the friend to join the picnic while he himself stayed away from it. After completion of his master's degree in chemistry, this young man landed himself in a teaching job in a local college. Besides the job, he did private tutoring and with the income, he supported his needy friends and his poor family members, ignoring his own comforts. This young man soon thought of and ventured to set up two institutions with only 5,000 rupees equal to 100 US dollars in a rented building in 1992-93. Today, while one of these institutions has become the most promising university of the country with 40,000 students from across the globe, the other institution has become the beauty of the world which nurtures and gives a decent life to 80,000 poor indigenous children of the country, 30,000 from Keys Bhubaneswar, 40,000 alumni, 10,000 in 10 satellite centers in 10 districts of Orissa, providing free education from kindergarten to post-graduation and professional education with fully free residential and boarding facility. The small institute that started with only 100 US dollars in 1992 has been instrumental in giving smiles directly and indirectly to 1 million people and looks forward to giving smiles to 10 million people by 2030. He has also given back to his remote village, turning it into a model village having all amenities of a city. He has also greatly contributed towards enriching art, culture, films, literature, spiritualism and many other fields. The same person, after creating so much for the society and people, and after achieving so much, lives the simplest of the simple life in a two-room rented house without any personal property and has chosen to remain a bachelor. His only hobby is to bring smiles to faces of thousands of poor children irrespective of caste, creed and religion. This boy of yesteryears, who has now grown big in stature, gives credit for all his accomplishments in life to the art of giving, which he had silently learned since his childhood. It has been the ethos of his life. He passionately believes in the potent of the term, the art of giving, which ultimately brings peace in the minds of people in the society. He has institutionalized the concept since 17th May 2013. He is none other than Achyuta Samantha, the visionary social entrepreneur, social worker, educationist, the founder of KIT and KISS, the KISS Foundation India, the KISS Foundation UK and the KISS Foundation USA. So thank
डॉक्टर अच्युत सामंत एक ऐसा विचार है जो एक गलत विचारधारा को बदलने की कोशिश में जुटे हुए हैं इनकी जितनी सराहना की जाए आदर सत्कार और सम्मान किया जाए कम होगा हमारे आज के कर्मवीर डॉक्टर अच्युत सामंत वही समाज सेवी हैं जो हमेशा ऐसी कोशिश में जुटे रहते हैं कि जो उन पर गुजरी किसी और पर ना गुजरे कोई और बच्चा रोटी कपड़ा मकान और सबसे जरूरी ज्ञान को न तरसे नक्सल प्रभावित क्षेत्रों के बच्चों के लिए विश्व की सबसे बड़ी आदिवासी संस्था कलिंगा इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ सोशल साइंसेस की स्थापना करने वाले डॉक्टर अच्युत सामंत को किसी भी इंसान के अंदर कुछ ऐसी धारणा होती है कि मुझे ये काम करना है क्या सोच के आपके मन में आया किस उम्र में आपने सोचा कि मुझे इस ओर ध्यान देना है इस ओर मुझे काम करना है मैं छोटा से बच्चा था चार साल उम्र था जस्ट मैं खेल रहा था रेल छुक 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 सडनली देखा घर में सब रोने लगे माँ मुझे छोड़ के छे भाई बहन मैं समझ नहीं पाया किस लिए लोग रो रहे हैं फिर मुझे खबर लगा मेरा पिताजी का देहांत हो गया ट्रेन एक्सीडेंट में ट्रेन से ट्रेन से एक्सीडेंट में देहांत हो गया मेरा पिताजी इतना छोटा कर्मचारी था मैं सुना हूं बहुत अच्छा आदमी था लेकिन बहुत गरीब था आठ परिवार को चलाने के लिए उसको बहुत दुख करना पड़ रहा था और चार मरने का चार साल पहले से बहुत हाथ उधारी कर दिया था जब पिताजी गुजर गए मेरा माताजी का पास एक सौ रुपया भी उस जमाने में नहीं था 1970 में 1970 सब बच्चे माँ को पकड़ के रो रहा है दस बीस पड़ोसी आगे हैं उसका साथ पांच काबुली वाला आके खड़ा हो गए हैं काबुली वाला माने जो हाँ, हैंड लोन देते हैं हाँ, जो हैंड लोन देते, है, देते हैं तो मेरा बड़ा भाई जो था वो पंद्रह सोलह साल उम्र हुआ था उस टाइम तो साइकिल लेके चला गया हॉस्पिटल में देखने के लिए जहां पर पिताजी पड़े हैं तो देखा तो पिताजी उस टाइम चला गया है व्हाइट चद्दर उसका ऊपर पड़ गया है फिर वो साइकिल लेके आया माँ को पूछा माँ डेड बॉडी यहाँ लाए ने क्या करे माँ को कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा है वो देखा जी काबुली वाला यहाँ पर खड़ा है जो आदमी ने उधार लिया तो आदमी अभी नहीं है पैसा कैसे अदाय करेंगे माँ सोचा डेड बॉडी आएगा तो एक काबुली वाला उसको जबरदस्ती रखेंगे बोलेंगे पैसा दो तो फिर डेड बॉडी छोड़ेंगे शमशान जाने के लिए तो माँ ऐसे ऐसे कर दिया बड़ा भाई समझ लिया जो डेड बॉडी हुई से शमशान ले जाना चाहिए एक महिला विधवा महिला का अंदर आ सात बच्चे को लेके क्या दुख हुआ होगा उसका बाद नेक्स्ट डे क्या खाएंगे वो भी नहीं था आज पिताजी बहुत अच्छे आदमी थे उसका जितना कॉलिक थे उसमें से दस कॉलिक प्लान किए जो तीन महीना ये लोग को हम लोग ग्रोसरी देंगे तीन महीना के अंदर ये अपना क्या खाएंगे क्या करेंगे फिर सोच लेंगे ये जो दुख दरिद्रता भुखमारी ह्यूमिलेशन क्या होता है और एक छोटा सा एग्जांपल बोलूंगा बड़ा भाई ने एक बार आए थे गांव माऊ पड़ोसी से एक मुठ्ठा चूडा पॉप ड्राइस माँ के लाए थे बिकॉज बड़ा बेटा आया है बड़ा बेटा के लिए माँ लोग का ज्यादा प्यार होते हैं जी जी मुझे ख्याल नहीं मैं आ गया बाहर से मुझे भूख लगा मैं उसको खा लिया फिर माता जी गुस्सा हो गया फिर वो मुझे मारने लगा मैं दौड़ने लगा एक लकड़ी माँ ने पकड़ा था नारकल का ऐसे मेरा ऊपर फेंक दिया मैं पीछे देख रहा था माँ आ रहा है कि नहीं वो लकड़ी मेरा एक बाव आंख में घुस गया इट वॉज ब्लीडिंग लाइक एनी इट वाज ऑपरेटेड आई वाज सेव्ड एट दैट टाइम मैं बोलता हूं ये जो आप पूछे ये कैसे विचार है कहां से विचार आया ये जो बचपना से मैं गरीब देख रहा हूं वो गरीबी को दूर करने के लिए भूखमारी को दूर करने के लिए मेरा मन में एक सपना था भगवान ने उसको सार्थक कर दिया सो थैंक यू वेरी मच वन सेकेंड All the honored audience present here. And once again, कैसे उनके जीवन में आपने बदलाव लाया है? चलेगा तो बहुत टाइम ले लिया आप लोग के लिए तो आई होप यू मस्ट है गॉड हैज ब्लेस्ड वन पर्सन लाइक दिस एंड दैट पर्सन इज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटिंग गुड थिंग्स टू दी सोसाइटी टू दी पीपल इन दी सोसाइटी I am once again grateful to honorable chairman and DG sir 
for giving me an opportunity and doing the very good assessment of keys with respect to hdg and i will be happy if some of you uh, dg sahib has visited already he has experienced and honorable chairman any body is coming to bhubaneswar our organization is only 15 minutes distance from the bhubaneswar it is in the heart of capital city of odisha state that is the bhubaneswar it is not far away so you all will feel happy after seeing these things in your own eyes bahut acha lagega so once again thank you very much i am very much happy and honored thank you ya yeah, question answer kisi ka hai to sir i don't have any question the visual and your honest exposition of the work that you have done clarifies everything but either out of modesty or humility you and the distinguished chairman and dg have omitted certain significant points about your introduction i just want to share it with the august audience here <laughs> having known about him from my colleague the commissioner of police bhubaneswar i flew to bhubaneswar spent one day in their campus and you should know mr achyut samanta has no family the trust is his children he is a celibate he has devoted his life to the cause of tribal children so far 80000 student tribal students have come out now another party students are under his care it's a university and uh, the presentation shows it as free it is not just free it is holistic right from clothes toiletries everything is provided by him and it's a coach adolescent issues are also tackled by providing counselors and in such a huge complex sports facility is very huge and the children are so disciplined the moment a visitor goes the way they receive you the way they respond to you has to be seen to be believed that's the beauty of this and these children are picked up up to pg kg to pg many politicians talk about but i have seen it with my own eyes i have seen the annadanam of tirumala tirupati devasthan where i was the cvso but the food feeding arrangement here excels what is being done at tirumala tirupati devasthan you should see to believe it further students after tribal students after they pass out pg if they are doing further education or phd elsewhere he supports them by way of extension these are the things that i wanted to share with you further heat kalinga institute of information it was started like a, a polytechnic in sheds then kalinga institute of medical sciences i have driven through there i couldn't walk it's such a huge and vast campus and uh, the infrastructure and the quality of education the administrative framework rivals with some of the best universities that i have seen in the world like sydney university or the university of illinois university of illinois at chicago etc i wish that all of you should visit to get inspired thank you Why do you think there is only one Mr. Samanta in the country? The country is so vast. What is your impression? What should be done? I think that is what we should uh, concentrate on. Should examine that. In fact, sir, when I was there, a journalist was there, a foreign journalist. I was asking him what is his impression of uh, this institution. He was saying. he says all the philanthropists of the world like bill gates warren buffet or our ajim prem ji or infosys founder or even our mother teresa are very great but their work fails into insignificance if they come and see what mr samanta has been doing it 
I know, but you haven't answered my question. Anyway, I think over it. Because you deleted this way, I put it. Any, any, anyone else? Any question? No. Yeah. Good evening, sir. My name is uh, Fani Kumar Siddhavaram in the GMP program under ASCII, sir. Sir, uh, what we have seen just now and what exists in our country through the length of and breadth of the country, I traveled out of my curiosity and uh, I found that similar situations exist in nearly every tribal pocket, rural area. In whichever state we visit, we find the same situation. So what Samantha, sir, is doing, it must be replicated across the country and probably uh, as you are in uh, policy decision and pol public policy areas, can there be, can there be a complete thought process, a change of thought process across the country's governance systems to think at least in this manner for the next 20, 30 years? Maybe that is what will completely Garibi Hatao program will happen then. Our priorities sometimes keep changing and this education type of priority gets relegated, neglected. That's my request. If that kind of a point can be raised at the higher levels, maybe India can see a complete wipeout of power. Thank you very much. Okay. You have some comments to make? Dr. Samanto, you are planning to set up similar institutions in other tribal districts in Odisha and also replicate the experiment in other parts of India and also in other parts of the world. This is what I remember you told me some years ago. What is the situation right now? Thank you. You see, this is the question put by many people already. So I can quote the comments of Nitish Kumarji Honorable Chief Minister Bihar. So I met him in his first term as the Chief Minister and requested him to give me five acres land in nearby Patna to set up one school for the poor children. Then he asked me, Dr. Saman, I have a lot of people who have a lot of they should set up engineering college, public school, etc. There is no one who has a lot of people who set up a lot You are the exceptional. How? Why? I will say public schools can be set up by many people, but these type of schools cannot be set up by. So it is very difficult to set up one school that will fully residential and for the poor children. One can run five, ten public schools for the residential. So I am very much happy. I have been invited by many states. Your Telangana, your Andhra Pradesh, your Jharkhand. Jharkhand Chief Minister recently came specially with a flight to see his and invited me in the public. I'll provide you land, paisa, sab kuch. UP Chief Minister Akhilesh Jadavji, when he was the Chief Minister, he came with the flight just to see and set up the... So these are so many things are going on. For your kind information, sir, you know one branch of this is running in Delhi, in the name and style is right. Delhi, since 2012 for the poor children of Delhi territory. So <clears throat> there are 1,200 students are pursuing poor children. And one branch has been opened in also Dhaka, in the name and style is this one university like it. So when his chairman came and saw he was totally mad, he told. So we are so in this way there are all states are inviting, but Samantha is only one. And time is very constrained. So it is not possible on the part of Samantha, but I have opened in 10 satellite campus in 10 districts of Odisha and going to open another 10 tribal districts also in Odisha. But it is not possible to set up the branch in other states so quickly, so nicely. It needs finance, so many things. That's why I told in my speech in the beginning, it has been saved by God, not by Samantha. It has been created by God and run by God. Immediately it is not possible on the part of an individual like you. It is the work of four generation it is being implemented then within one generation or to summon. So it is very difficult things. Har chaga mein chalta hai. Isha nahi hai. Hentar country mein 
many people are working i am not a aise kuch nothing else but they are in a very small way not in a good way all these things it needs passion of a person not money of a person it needs a passion of a person ek aadmi ka passion hai chahiye so god has given me that passion that's why it is possible and for your kind as you have seen it is also only tribal university in the world exclusive for the tribal children that to fully free fully residence thank you he is like a yuga purusha so uh, good evening sir the board play god yes sir good, uh, good evening sir uh, yes uh, uh, first of all i want to uh, appreciate your works and i heard so many times but uh, success is uh, yes success is start from the first step thousands miles is start from the first step i want to know from your mouth that uh, how you start this uh, project from the part, how you give this first step in this project financially socially how you overcome that challenge i want to know from your mouth thank you sir thank you very much you have seen the art of giving that is the philosophy of life though it, it gives the entire struggleful life of achchu samay from the age of 5 up to age of 55 but i have been propagating this concept art of giving it is being celebrated on 17th may in 120 countries by my fan and followers art of giving day and whatever you have asked it is a herculean tax starting with 5000 rupees i have come up to this position i have overcome the डिफिकल्टीज प्रॉब्लम इन द ट्यून ऑफ हिमालय एंड एवरेज ऐसे नहीं जे चीज यहां पहुंच गया है बट आज आई स्टार्टेड विद 5000 इनिशियली फ्रॉम द 92 अप टू 96 आई वाज बोरोइंग हैंड लोन फ्रॉम माय फ्रेंड्स डियर नियर एंड डियर रिलेटिव्स एटसेट्रा एटसेट्रा इन 95 एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आई हैड द हैंड लोन 16 लाख सो देयर इज नो वे टू रिपे द हैंड लोन पीपल आर डिमांडिंग टू गेट बैक देयर मनी आई वाज हाइडिंग फ्रॉम देम then i decided to commit suicide as there is no background to repay the loan then one bank on my face value came forward it is destiny he sanctioned immediately 30 lakhs loan without any collateral security because there is no land in the name of kids till 1995 so out of 30 lakhs that is the turning point i repaid 10 lakhs then i went on 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 where i am now <laughs> here with 30 campus 2. 5 crore square foot built up area and the campus are just like american europe i am not boasting myself they have seen if one enter into the campus it is just like europe or america that type of beautiful campus greenery everything we have built up so yeah it is a huge process koi cheez itna aasan se nahi milta hai i am dr chakravarti A retired civil servant, an octogenarian, marching on to become a nonagenarian. If I may say so. Um, I heard Mr. Padmanabha Gauru say something about you. Bhakti said something about you, and the three videos which you showed. From all these things, I got, I recall, a particular statement made by Alfred Einstein. What Einstein said was. i am not asking question i want to make an observation what einstein said was a successful person is one who takes a lot from the society but gives only a small portion or some portion of it to the society he became rich he may be successful fine but he didn't stop with that einstein he said a purposeful person is one who takes a little of the society but this back a lot back to society and you are a purposeful person <laughs> thank you very much sir uh now i'll request our chairman sir to present a memento to our uh, chief guest yeah. 
Yeah. It's like this, you know, three, four times, somebody might get uh, you know, motivated. Yeah. And final words, I think words don't do justice to what he has achieved. I think each one of us must visit uh, the campus to really see with our own eyes, good being done. And I hope that one day you will get the Nobel Prize, sir. You richly deserve it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.